please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, January 16th. There will be a fundraiser dinner at Hosses in Richland for Minithon on Saturday, January 20th. If you dine at any time during the day and bring the flyer located in Mr. Podgerberic's room, a portion of your bill will be donated to our Minithon. If over $1,200 is raised, 25% of all bills will be donated towards Minithon. Please come out and support the Minithon and eat some good food. If any student who participates in the FCA huddles on Thursdays is interested in snow tubing with FCA, money and permission forms are due to Coach Murchie by Thursday, January 18th. Attention seniors, the yearbook staff is looking to add photos to the yearbook of seniors recreating poses from old photographs taken in elementary school or middle school. The final deadline to turn these recreations into the yearbook staff is tomorrow. Please see Ms. Lederman with any questions. Help make this yearbook one to remember. Youth baseball and softball registration for this year is open. The forms are available in the high school middle school office. Minithon packets and registration are due by January 20th. Please register then if you plan to attend Minithon and would like to be guaranteed a shirt. See Jonathan Guetta or Mr. Podgerberic with any questions. Attention History Club members. Sign-ups in Mrs. Blackburn's room are for the trip in April. You must sign up by the 18th. If you sign up, you must go on the trip and pay the amount owed, no exceptions. See Jonathan Guetta or Mrs. Blackburn with any exception. Questions. Track quickness will start today from 3 to 4 o'clock in the auxiliary gym. This is open for any junior, or, junior high or high school student and will get you ready for the track season. We will meet every Tuesday and Thursday up until March. Today for lunch, we are having a beef soft taco, whole grain taco shell, Spanish rice, refried beans, and pineapple tidbits. Now let's take a look at our Wimber weather and sports report. Good morning, it's Jonathan here with your daily weather forecast. Today the high temperature is 23 degrees and the low is 11 degrees. The skies today will be cloudy with some snow showers throughout the day. For the five day forecast, we should see some snow showers the next two days with some partly cloudy skies coming in towards the weekend. The temperatures should be in the 20s with Wednesday having a low of 5 degrees. However, the weekend should bring warmer temperatures as we continue this back and forth battle between warm and cold temperatures. Hello, it's Trevor here with your sports for today. The boys junior high basketball team has a game away at Portage starting at 4. The boys varsity basketball team also has a game at Portage with the junior varsity starting at 6 and varsity playing afterwards. In the NBA today, the Boston Celtics have a home game against the New Orleans Pelicans. That game will start at 7.30. This is Seth here with your brain teaser of the day. 100 feet in the air, yet its back is on the ground. What is it? If you guessed centipede is on its back, you are correct. Thanks and have a great day. I'm John Cena! January 15, 2001, Wikipedia, a free wiki content encyclopedia, is launched by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger. January 16, 1412, the Medici family is appointed official banker of the Papasi. January 17, Blake Adam Jack's birthday! Yay! January 19, 2013, calcium deposits are discovered on Mars by NASA's Curiosity Rover. January 20th, 2009, Barack Obama, inaugurated as the 44th President of the United States of America, becomes the United States' first African-American President. January 21st, 2008, Black Monday, in worldwide stock markets, FTSC 100 had its biggest ever one-day points fall. European stocks closed with their worst result since 9-11, and Asian stocks dropped as much as 15%.
Um, we should keep the penny because Americans would lose more money because prices would be rounded up. Uh, I think we should keep the penny because it's given to like a lot of charities and penny drives. Do you think that we should keep the penny? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because the penny is a needed thing. We need the one cent. And some taxes don't be raised. Actually, I think no, because the penny is like is like useless. Like it's only one cent, and like um um it costs more to make the penny than what it's actually cost. So. Yeah, but if that one penny can actually help a lot of people. Because the penny does go to charities and stuff. A lot of people give, even if there's a penny on the street, people randomly will pick it up like, hey, there's a penny, taking it. They're also going to stop making We're not talking about nickels, we're talking about pennies. Well, we don't, we don't need pennies. Well, we can use a penny for charity, and that penny can help a lot of children for health benefits. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want the penny. So. You're rude. Uh, okay. I don't care, Tyler. <laughs> Today's word of the day is trite. When you want to indicate that something is silly or overused, you would call it trite. A love song with the lyrics about holding hands in the sunshine? Totally trite. Thanks and have a great day.